All right, I want to talk about Tesla's auto steer stoplight feature. We're at a red light, as you can see. And also ad ad advanced summon. There are two features that are, well, one of them's out. Advanced summon, I think, is not officially out yet, but it will be out soon for cars. Stoplight auto steer, I did a video saying it's a bogus feature. Check that out on my channel if you haven't seen it. Be sure to subscribe, by the way, and, and sign up for notifications if you haven't already. And I did say it was bogus because it really hardly ever works. It, it works totally inconsistently, and it works way too late in almost every time it's gone off. Like, by the time it goes off, you're going to blast through the red light or smash into somebody, which is, uh, it's just too late. You know, you already have hit somebody, right? So I was like wondering, what's the point? I mean, is it trying to pump up the stock price? That's kind of what I thought because it didn't even seem to work. But the more I think about it, I guess it's just a precursor for how it will work better in the near future. And that's what I'm hoping with advanced summon because it only works at three miles an hour and it seems like a terrible, terrible idea right now going around a parking lot at three miles an hour. But in the near future, of course, they're gonna increase the speeds. And same with this red light detection system. Hopefully they will make it warn more early, early on so that you can actually stop and work consistently. So what do you guys think? That, those are my thoughts is that there maybe these are just early versions, I guess they're beta versions, they really are, uh, and I guess it, it follows along with the same line of logic all along with Tesla, should they even release this stuff in the beta version, look at that guy, okay, I'm saying it's a guy, it could be a girl, potholes, Let's see how autopilot breaks here, we're really getting into the braking there, anyway, that's what I think, I think that these are just early versions, maybe too early, released too early, but still, I'm hoping that over time they will improve, they'll become really functional, really useful. But for right now, it's more they're both more like gimmicks in my mind. You don't want to rely on them, you don't want to depend on them. No one's gonna put up with you putting, you know, driving three miles an hour through a parking lot, even if it's only for 100, 150 feet, and then no one's gonna put up with you running through red lights because you're depending on some system that to tell you that you're about to hit a red light. So don't even think about using these features in my mind unless you're all alone in an area without anybody else around. That's the only way I would say to do it. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. And thank you for watching.